Today I'm going to show you how secretly easy painting battle damage on power armor is. Yo dog, Kenny Bichet here, next level painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days here in the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. I got another tutorial for you. Today, it's super quick, possibly the quickest tutorial in the history of internet tutorials. We're gonna be showing you how to paint battle damage in the scratch form on an ultramarine. The Legion Herald that I've been painting on Twitch for a couple of weeks now, courtesy of Army Painter, and my friend Robbie B. We're gonna be taking that model, finishing them out with a quick series of scratches. I'm gonna show you my thought process and my theory behind it. I wanna shout out a couple of clutch individuals. If you guys don't mind, before we jump right into it, Patreon is my personal crowdfunding page and I can't do it without you. Adrian, Nigel, my man Raymond, Jared, Adam, my man Tom, Granites, Alex, Chris, Brandon, Chris, Balazar, my man Jordan, Michael, Peter, Joel, Kyle, Chris, Anthony, and Arch. Thank you guys, bottom of my heart. Without further ado, let's do this thing. All right, let's do this thing, guys. Here's my Legion Herald from Forge World. But more importantly, let's take a look at this paint pot. What I did here was I built up a couple of scratches over one of the colors I used to highlight this model to see what I like best. Though I love that orange effect, we're going with the gray. I feel like the orange might be too righteous for this marine, being that we didn't use that color anywhere else on the model. So let's approach the shoulder pad with exactly the same type of scratch that we did on that pot of paint as our test subject. And you can see that blue is basically the same blue because I use it to highlight that shoulder. So I'm basically taking my detail brush and building a nice jagged line, very precise, pulling it to me using my pinky to brace. There it is. You can see we built a nice jagged line out of pure black and a secondary line right underneath it. And all I'm doing here is just sharpening it, making sure it's very clean. I want it to be very deliberate, not haphazard. And see what we're doing now is we're basically just lightening it up, highlighting it up. We're taking some white and we're mixing it right in with that black. And we're actually creating the true color of the scratch. The black is just the shadow. Don't worry, I'll give you an example if that's confusing. The true color of underneath the blue is actually gonna be gray, according to our chart here that we laid out. You see, it's gray, the black is the shadow. I just started with the black and cut the gray in. So that way my line was more precise. And now this is the simple shit right here, right? We're just gonna take some pure white, very carefully trace the bottom of the scratch. Very easy. Bottom of the scratch on the blue side, that's how you create the three-dimensional appearance, the optical illusion that this is a real scratch. Cause he's got scratches all over his armor that actually are three-dimensional. I wanted to put one here on the shoulder to complete it and it looks fabulous in my opinion. It's very simple. And now obviously you can go back and forth, blending it, smoothing it out, you know, adding more pure white to the peaks. And that's what I did here. You, I mean, I didn't show you that whole process. Literally your heart's contempt. You can adapt this color scheme to anything. It's very simple. Here's a look at our boy right here. He's looking his best. This was all army painter paint system. This is basically a three color minimum, but their system is so fabulous that it looks well above the tabletop. If you wanna catch up on this video, check the VODs, check it out live on Twitch. This model will be given away here real soon. But hey, while I got your attention, if you guys can do me a big solid here on the YouTube scene, please click on the subscribe button on my page. It's a little confusing because there's one more step now. You can click this little bell symbol that appears after you press subscribe and click send me notifications to this channel and click save. That would be a huge help to me and hopefully to you guys and you get notifications. Anyway, play on players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.